posted a video recently saying what is underneath my bed and a lot of you guys are wondering what is in my closet. There's a lot of crazy things underneath my bed and there were even some crazier things in my closet. Disclaimer, before this video I actually went in my closet and it's still a mess you guys but I did a little cleaning so there wasn't any dusties this time because under my bed that was really gross at least for me. So now you won't be seeing any like lint and stuff. <laughs> Hopefully. I hope it's all cleaned up. But without further ado, let's reveal what is in my closet. So my closet is a walk-in closet and I actually could not walk in it before this video. I sort of organized some things, but here we go. Ta-da! Come in, come in. Watch your step, come in. I will close the closet. This is my lovely abode. And you guys, I am a purse and bag hoarder. Like I did not realize this before, but look how many bags I have, guys. This is not all the bags I have too. There's bags stuffed in bags. And if you don't believe me, let's get a bag count of how many bags we have. So, starting off in my little bag corner, we've got this bag. This one I got in New York for at the Toy Fair, and it's really cute. I love it, I love the prints. So that's bag number one. Bag number two I actually got from Unity, and you can take all the stuff off and replace them, and I love the office. Bag number three, this was actually my backpack for school this year, but then halfway through the school year I switched, but I love these types of backpacks. It's Mad Packs, and I love the pr print on them, so number three. Number four is actually my dance bag. I used to take ballet lessons, and so I still have all my ballet clothes in here. So here are my ballet slippers, and they're really dirty because I used to take lessons like three times a week, and I would use these all the time. And yes, I was on point, and I quit like two years, two or three years ago. I think it was two. And so these are all beat up too, and I have not tried these on since. So, should I try them on now? We can see if I can put them on. Oh no, you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna put them on with my socks. Even though you're not, you don't really put them on with your socks, but we are today. Okay. <laughs> I have not put these on for a long time. All the ballerinas are quaking. <laughs> so, you just wrap them up. And then, it's gonna be weird because I have like my regular clothes on, not my ballerina clothes. I'll come back when I get the other one on too. All right, they're on. <laughs> okay, let's try setting up for the first time in two years in point shoes. You ready? Woo! Yay, I can still do it! Oh, I miss ballet! These are my ballet slippers. They're also kind of tough slippers. <laughs> Not really. Besides ballet slippers, I also got my ballet skirt. These are my new ballet shoes. So these, one, these ones aren't as worn out and they're a little bit more fancy. Um, but this was my first pair. And this was a stretchy thing to help you stretch before class. Like to stretch your legs and your feet. Um, so that's in my dance bag. Uh, this is what goes inside of your ballet slippers so they don't like give you blisters on your toes because you're on your toes for an hour. Tissues, because I cried at ballet once. <laughs> and also some band-aids because of those blisters again. All right, that was a walk down memory lane. <laughs> Let's take these slippers off. Bag number five, this is my backpack from last year. And it was really cute, but there's more inside. So this is bag number six which I got recently from BYU TV's party of Random Acts, their premiere. And bag number seven, I also got at New York. <laughs> and it's a small little blue backpack, which is cute. Bag number eight is actually full. It's, it's a beach bag. And I have my Clarisonic face scrubber in it. I also have my phone cleaner. So you stick your phone in here and it gets off all the germs. It's like a cool little contraption. And I have some beach towels in here. So, yep. Bag number nine. This is not really nine, guys. There's like 20 bags in here. This is actually my first suitcase ever. It's from Justice. 
And I remember picking it, I'm like, oh my gosh, mom, I just want the piece back, uh, the piece bag. And I would use this on airplanes all the time. But to the point where the things actually fell off, so now I have to like, it's really hard to open it. Here we go, I just barely put all these things in here and I have to take them out. So bag number 10 is from Victoria's Secret. It's giant and very shiny. Bag number 11 still has a tag on it because I haven't used it. It's from Balm, my favorite clothing store. Bag number 12 is from Pink. And by the way, these three bags I got for free with the clothes that we bought because it just came in with them. Bag number 13 is something I got from ClamorCon last year. Bag 14 is something I got from a garage sale when I was really little. <laughs> bag 15 is a Utah State University bag. Bag 16 is an EFY bag, which is like a church camp. And same with bag number 17. This is a different year. Bag 18 is a fanny pack, which I used to use a lot. And I was the only one that used to wear them, and that was when the trend was not going on. So I was watching the trends before the trends. Bag 18, I'm losing count. This one is like one of those bags that you could put like anything in, and you could see through the bag. Bag 19 is a bag that I actually made, all homemade. Bag 20 is something that I bought when I came out here in Utah when I used to live in Florida because I my bag broke on the way, so I had to buy a new bag. <laughs> bag 21 <laughs> is a bag that my Nana gave me when she went to Mexico and it unzips all the way to a little strand. Bag 22 is from the Toy Fair. It's called Toys. <laughs> bag 23 is actually my first purse ever. It's this little red purse and I got a red one because my favorite color is red. And bag number 23. <laughs> I don't know what, what you can hold in this but it's from the children's place. <laughs> and I've had this one since like elementary school too. I do not remember that at all. <laughs> it's so tiny. And that's all. So I have like 23 bags in total. Yep, I am a bag hoarder, and I did not realize that till today. So, please don't give me any bags. I have enough problems of my own right now. <laughs> um, let's move on over here. So this is my laundry basket that I've had for like, the, since the dawn of time. I don't remember when I've ever had a different laundry basket. And this is my hat, I love my hat. And behind my laundry basket is two pictures. So this picture I actually made with my pen pal and I drew Flamingo and she drew Flamingo so my Flamingo was facing this way and I kept hers and she kept mine and it was so fun. I love painting things like this. And then my second picture is an eyeball. I got this one from my photography class when I was in Florida and this is actually not my work, it's by someone else. But my photography teacher gave it to me before I left as like a goodbye present. And yeah, I still have it to this day. Okay, so this is my clothes right here. Um, I categorize them. So the section that you're right next to is all my long sleeve shirts and jackets. This is my tank tops and then my short sleeve shirt, shirts and my dresses. And I've got some um, necklaces over here. And also over here, these are my more used necklaces and sunglasses. And then my shoes are on the ground. Um, yeah, I have kind of a shoe problem too. I don't know how many pairs of shoes I have, but I have some poop emoji slippers, um, three pairs of boots, got my shiny silver shoes. And then here's my hats. I don't really wear hats a lot, but I have a few pairs, not pairs, I have a few hats. So this one I got from Slide the City, rocking that hat style. This one I got from the Cayman Islands on my Disney cruise. And this one I got from ClamorCon and it says not clickbait. I bet this looks really good on my head right now. Well, let's look on top of my clothes and see what treasures are in these things because I actually, I have not looked in these yet. I've cleaned the bottom of my closet, but I haven't gone through this. So this is my ring-tailed lemur. He's so cute. I love him. <laughs> He's the guardian of the closet. 
So I got this while in Florida, so it's kind of just a reminder of my childhood. <laughs> Which you will see a lot of pretty soon. And then I have this. I, I don't know what's in here. I don't know if there's anything in here. But it's my Perry bag. A suitcase, which I've never been to Paris, but it's a dream that I've always had. So I hope I can go there someday. Let's open it up and see what's inside. that up forever and deal with that problem later. <laughs> I still can't believe that was full of bags. <laughs> Let's see what's in the biggest tote. <laughs> oh joy. So this is some ACT papers which is like a national test in the US. So it's a test that goes over everything that you learn throughout your years of school and it helps you get into college if you get a really good score. And I, I took it three times and I'm finished with it. Thank goodness. So Duran, I'll pass these papers along to you because you have to take it still. <laughs> oh, it's my savage race number. I was in a race. It was like seven miles. And it's called the savage race. And I am not a runner, guys. And I have asthma. So I don't know why I did this. I wasn't even prepared, but the reason I think what enticed me to do is because there was like obstacles along the way, and it was really fun, and I forgot about this, so, some memories, and oh my gosh, you guys, I thought I was so cute in this picture, until you see it, and then you can never unsee it. <laughs> I had this picture hanging up in my room for like, years, and then one day I looked at it, I'm like, ah! <laughs> spot, spot the weird grossness. I think I ate salad before taking this picture or something because I definitely have some green stuff in my teeth. <laughs> I've got this little guy that I think my pen pal gave me. Random candle from girls camp. Oh, never burned. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna move on to the next bag. Then. Bag number two. Okay, thank goodness it's not more bags. I brought a flower crown. So, I don't think a lot of you guys know this, but that YouTube family channel used to be a collab channel, and it was called Rise and Shine. Oh, this was the old days, like when we first started. And I have the Rise and Shine t-shirt still. So that is here, homemade, lovely. And I also have this shirt from Jamaica that I wore once, and then I washed it and it shrunk and then my mom tried stretching it out and she made a hole in the bottom. <laughs> oh. I've got some shells. Um and I don't know why I have this. <laughs> oh yeah, I got that for my teacher and then I gave it to you because you had a beach themed room. <laughs> <laughs> put it in my beach themed room, but I have it. Let's see what's in the smallest bag. Okay, oh wow, roll back down. <laughs> DSI quick start guide. No one ever reads that. <laughs> wow. 2014 memory jar. What's inside? What were my memories in 2014? <laughs> so this is a memory I have. I was the only one in my class that got straight hundreds on a spelling pretest and I didn't have to take a big test later. Okay. Next one. Going over difficult problems that might be on FCAT. Why? Why do they all why do they all have to be on school? <laughs> school is my life! <laughs> and bags. FCAT, if you guys don't know, it's a Florida state test, but now it's gone. It's a state test that I used to take all the time when I was in um, middle school. I got some more pictures. Oh my gosh. Um, what are these? Oh, loom bands. Haven't been opened. 
Happy St. Patrick's Day again! <laughs> Snoopy! Oh no! Here's a, here is a picture of our first dog named Snoopy. He's so cute. Here we go. Now we're gonna move on to this tote. And this is heavy, guys. Ugh. This is a lot of memories. Here we go. Okay, voila! These are all the letters that I've stored up over so many years. So, I used to be, and I'm still, I still am, but it's kind of hard because I have a really bu busy schedule, but I used to write letters a lot. And I would keep every single letter that was written to me in here. So I have like birthday cards, I have pen pal letters, I have journals, I have planners, like I have everything on here. So here is actually a happy birthday sign that my friends made for me this year, it was 2017, it's the last year on my birthday. It was Stranger Things themed because Stranger Things was coming out near my birthday, so. Da -na 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 -na. That's just like a little sneak peek of all the stuff I have in here, but yeah, I'm a collector of letters. <laughs> Okay, the last thing my closet is in here. This purple top. Oh, this is even heavier. I can lift some weights in this. Oh. <laughs> okay, so these are some of my school papers starting from preschool to 12th grade. And as you can tell, I have a lot of work from my elementary school days. But along the way, I kind of stopped putting things in here just because it is getting really full. And I kind of forgot about it too. But I do have a lot of my other work like in other places in my room. So I'll just pick something out from when I was really little and I have not seen this for ages, you guys. <laughs> oh, it's so cute! This is um, some clay art that I made in second grade. I am not an artist and you guys will definitely be able to tell throughout this. Oh no. Oh, I got some diaries in here. Okay, here's another piece of paper. This is some artwork in fourth grade. Can anyone tell what animal this is? It's a piece of grass. Oh, it is. I thought it was an armadillo. You guys know I love the nostrils. <laughs> <laughs> Fine artwork. <laughs> this one is called. Fox and Bear like to go on a bike ride. <laughs> I had this hanging up in my room. This is how proud of, I, of it I was. Fifth grade. You guys, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> this was Little Swimmer Savannah. And I would just like to point out the amazing artwork on her arms. <laughs> <laughs> I am an artiste! <laughs> yes, queen! This is a story about Little Swimmer Savannah. I mean, Lil Swimmer Savannah. Alright you guys, so that is what is in my closet. I really hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. I found new things about myself. I'm a hoarder. I <laughs> love bags. I have a lot of amazing pieces of artwork. So if you guys want to also find out what's in my drawers, then comment down below. Oh, no. I have more stuff in my room, like in my dresser drawers, in my desk drawers, my nightstand drawers. Like I've got lots more stuff to share with you guys. So give it a thumbs up if you want to see that. Also comment down below, what is something that you guys have a lot of? Do you have 23 bags or 27 bags? Do you have 27 bags? Tell me in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!